All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell, I'm not using my phone to shoot a video. I got my camera out of the closet, put the mic on. I still don't have my tripod. I ordered a new one because the other one is in, in Los Angeles. But right now, that's exactly the topic, what I wanna talk about today. What equipment do you need to get started? The new year is around the corner and everybody is excited. Everybody has New Year's resolutions. And I remember when I first started shooting videos and I get those DMs all the time where people are like, how did you get started? I don't have the equipment. I don't have money for a camera whatever it is you you do have a phone right let me let me get all my thoughts together this video is for you if you have a passion and you don't know how to get started and you're scared to fail because everybody's so talented on social media and on YouTube please watch this video and watch my first video yes my very first video I want to show you that and I'm not gonna interrupt it it's gonna be a reaction video type of thing so I'm gonna have it I'm gonna play it I'm gonna watch it and then I'm gonna tell you exactly why I think it's so important that you guys see that. Um, mind you, that video was shot, um, when was it shot? Six years ago. Six years ago on a camera, I don't even know what that was. It was, I didn't even know if it shot in 1080. Anyways, I had a, I downloaded Sony Vegas Pro for the very first time because I had no idea how to edit, I didn't know what program I should use. So I hit the Google, I was like, what do I need to edit videos? And then Sony Vegas Pro popped up for free. So I was like, okay, that's great. Downloaded it, shot this video. I have no idea how long it took me to edit it. But um, last thing before I started, I cannot play the music because I used copyright music. I had no idea. Make a move, six years ago, 640 views. Let's go. Skinny. That was in good shape though. good um so first of all I mean you saw it <laughs> I had really long hair I was really skinny but here's the thing the location that I had was um, a gymnasium that I rented for $15 15 euros an hour and I held my fat burning classes in there with my clients so that's where I started and then one night I was like can I rent the gym or the gymnasium for two hours and they were like sure so I invited my friend Tino Tino I'm sorry if you if you're watching this I had to show it <laughs> so uh, Tino and I we were like okay let's just shoot this video we create this you know idea this concept this lifestyle just make a move don't stop you don't know how to get started just you know 
do you want to take one step? And then after that one step, you take another one. So you don't need to know exactly how many steps you you know you need to take to achieve your goal. Just take the first one. And for me, it definitely paid off because I started with this six years ago. That was my first edit. Obviously, I had no idea about YouTube. I just uploaded it. I didn't know about the length of the the video. I had no idea about copyright music. So I just used the song that I wasn't even allowed to. Anyways, the moral of the story is I didn't have the best equipment. I didn't have the knowledge to edit. I didn't have the knowledge about YouTube. I didn't have anything and I uploaded only one video. And those 640 views were a lot because mainly I think pretty sure 400 of those views were friends of mine um, from school because we just shared it within our circle, you know? So everybody was just sharing and they're like, oh, what are you doing? I was like, yeah, every Monday I wanna work out. Um, Everybody is welcome to join. So the moral of the story is no matter what you want, just get started today. Yes, right now, after you finish watching this video, whatever it is you wanna achieve in life, go after it, take the first step. I had a conversation with a friend of mine and he said he's unhappy with his life. I was like, what do you wanna do? And he was like, I think I wanna do personal training. I was like, okay, cool. So as soon as you hang up, you sign up for that um, personal training certificate and then you get started. That's the first step, you sign up and you get started. That's the first step. Some people do it, some people don't, you know? But if you don't take the first step, you will never achieve that goal. And for me, it was that video, that video, that terrible, video with like very cheesy and like a little cringy but it was the first step it made me realize that i really like editing videos i like being in front of the camera and i like working out so i was like all of that combined is gonna help me achieve my goal to move to the united states and guess where i am right now i'm in miami and i'm shooting this video about six like about this video that i shot six years ago that was my first step so Take that lesson, and again, as soon as you stop this video, you start whatever it is, you take the first step of whatever it is you wanna do in life, you go after this. So my SD card was full, and I don't really know when it stopped filming. So I think the last part that wasn't recorded was this. So if you wonder why I thought about this video that I produced six years ago with no equipment, no um, knowledge in editing, no knowledge about YouTube or anything, and why am I bringing it up now? Here's the reason. I realized when I was shooting some quality content, or at least I personally thought it was really um, good quality content with my friend and cinematographer Jan, uh, one good example is the video that I am gonna link up here. It's how I trained, or I trained like a firefighter for one day. That video was just so good and made me feel so good because I loved the quality, I loved the storytelling, I loved how we showed everything, how firefighters work and like how hard it is to just do that on a daily basis. So with that being said, when Jan flew back to Germany, I thought like, okay, now I have to replace not only my cinematographer, but also my good friend, because he knew exactly how I wanna shoot things. And I was a little, I don't want to say uh, scared, but I was like, I, I had such a good team. He trusted me with what I wanted to do. I trusted him with the camera, so it was a perfect uh, team. Then I started thinking about the quality and like what I want to put out there. And if, you know, I want to be proud of what I produce. All of a sudden, I was like, I cannot just film with my G7X or I cannot film with this or that. I need my professional camera. I need my camera equipment. I need my, my audio equipment. I need my lav mics. I need all of that. So it's like, sounds good, feels good, looks good. And that just slowed me down. And at that time, I really stopped producing content at all. Like I wasn't, I wasn't filming anything. I wasn't vlogging. I wasn't doing anything. And that made me very unhappy. And I, at that time I didn't know what it was. Not saying I was unhappy in general. I, I was just like, I was missing something. And then I realized it's cr- it's producing content. That's what started it. Like I loved shooting that and, and spending time editing it. And then I just, I just started again. I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter what equipment I have. It doesn't matter if I have a cinematographer. 
I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to wing it. And if the content, the message behind the video is good, people are going to like it and I'm going to be proud of it. A great example is the video that I shot on um, the German, the uh, Deutsche Donnerstag. I shot this video on my iPhone with no camera, no audio, and I edited the entire video on my phone. No editing software and nothing. I mean, obviously on my phone and app, but I, I didn't have to spend hours on my computer. I did it in like tw 20 minutes, probably. And the entire thing was so exciting because I was speaking in, in German for the first time ever um, in a video. And I was shooting everything by myself and, it, I, and I edited everything by myself and it was just, it was raw and it was, it was cool and it was great energy. And people I'm pretty sure felt that too. That just made me think and I was like, I don't wanna ever go back to the point where I feel like I can't do something because I don't have the resources. Take the first step and start. For me, it was like a restart, a, you know, starting again. I need a cinematographer right now. I have a, a cardboard box right there in front of me. The camera is on top of it and I'm filming mes myself and I tell you the entire story and that's it. Now I can edit it and here we go. I hope this example, this story just shows you it doesn't matter if you don't know how to do it. Just read more. There's Google, YouTube, just start doing things. Whatever it is, don't wait for 2020. Start today. You got this, I believe in you. Here we go.